Hello everybody, this is Dr. Hefe, internet psychologist playing Alan Wake, and in the last episode we learned that Alan Wake has dissociative identity dis disorder. Yep. This kidnapper that he has found is just a projection, another projection of himself. How else would he have gotten the same revolver that Alan Wake has been using? And this is probably due to a nervous breakdown, due to being forced by his publisher to write another shitty, shitty horror novel. So, let's continue the game and see where it goes from here. See, Box, to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. <laughs> yeah, no can do. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. He can't give you the gun, because you're already holding the gun. Dun dun dun! So I think I just need to wait for these guys to get close. And then just throw a flare right in their face. That's right. Flare in your face. Back off. How about you work a little bit harder? What is he doing? Is he just gonna stand down there? No, he's gonna follow me. Alright, let's go, bro. Oh, you feeling better now, Wake. All cozy and safe. Oh damn. His projection is even dissing him straight up. That's awesome. So I guess these lights are points of sanity. That's when he regains his sanity. And these coffee thermoses are where he gets even more insane because he needs that crack juice. Glug, 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 glug. Mmm, delicious. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Grabbing flares. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Yeah, come on, Wake. Jeez, don't you know? Your alpha male self has to hold the gun. And your beta version has to hold the stupid flares. And this is the part where you kind of get in touch with each other, right? You have to learn how to survive together. At least he's getting a lot better with that gun. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. What am I seeing right here? Oh, dudes jumping up from different areas. Oh, we need the flare. Back off, bitches. Get some. Alan Wake, I didn't know you served in Vietnam. Nice. Oh, here they come from above. Back off, bitches. Yeah, how would the flare not just immediately make them visible? Back off. Oh shit, he's getting rocked. Don't wake. Don't get your ass rocked by stupid forest hobos. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, this guy's got an axe. The other one had a shovel. I think that other guy had like a hoe or something. Yeah, get him. Get him, my Vietnamese vet veteran right here. Oh, oh, get back up, bitch. That's right, we're tag teaming your ass. Yeah, nothing to it. Actually, that worked out pretty well. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible. What? Once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. Oh, you created an you alpha talking? version of yourself because you thought you were a shitty writer. Entire manuscript. So this but guy's going <laughs> to... You touch her all. <laughs> this guy wants to rewrite the novel to make it better. This makes perfect sense. Wow. It's all fitting into the analysis. Alan Wake. If 
only you were a better rider, none of this would have happened. <laughs> were you trying to look like a badass there, Alan Wake? Because you kind of failed. No! Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! Whoa. Maybe he's trying to force he himself to become more of an alpha. And he avoided the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power, but I had no manuscript to give him. Yeah, because you're I a terrible writer. To Barry and figure out my next move. Sweet, lots of ammo and oh, what's this? Glow in the dark paint, leading me somewhere. So look, your manuscript is all around, bro. Don't worry about it. Whoa, I think that's probably instant death. Don't walk off the cliff. This is some odd platforming going on right here. Just stay on the log. And you won't get hurt. I don't know why this is more difficult. I remember he ran through some lumber yard and was dancing on logs. Like some crazy sort of log rolling dancing master. I see you over there, you jerk. Get out of here. Bear trap? Damn, that's a dick move. Forest hobo setting up bear traps for me. What's going on? Am I supposed to go this way? This is confusing as shit. Running through the forest. The foggy, foggy forest. The forest of funky butt loving. <laughs> oh, man. What's over here? Another bear trap. Luckily, these are glowing bear traps. Am I supposed to use these to trap the forest hobos? Okay. Ominous music. Probably about how there's like five million of these bear traps. Oh, they only sparkle when you put your light on them. Luckily, your light is always facing forward. So you don't have to worry about that. Jesus. There's a lot of these things. How many how many bears are you intending to catch out here? My fucking goodness. Frickin' Boo Boo is probably already skinned in this cabin over here. What item limit reached? I'm already full on revolver ammo. Nice. Not anymore. <laughs> Just give you some beer cans to practice shooting. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to keep running across logs. I know everybody wants to see this. Fat, crazy rider running on logs. Avoiding bear traps. Uh-oh. Oh, I knew, I knew it was going to happen. Back off, bitches. There we go, that was a headshot. Where's the second one? Where's the third one? Ow! Be a dick and throw. Uh oh, reload. They're freaking throwing axes at me. I never understand the idea. Like, how do you have so many axes you can just afford to throw your weapons at people? Oh, this looks shady as hell. Knew it. This guy's gonna try and jack me in the woods. Shady ass. Son of a bitch. Nope. This doesn't look safe either. A heavy mist. So is this supposed to be like fog? blowing around? I don't understand why his vision's so hazy. I guess he did suffer a head injury. This could all just be like a concussion that's causing him to hallucinate as well. He may not have a clinical disorder. Oh! Obviously you gotta go up the log. What's this guy doing? You gonna try and- Oh! I knew you'd have somebody below the log. I'm like there's- Oh! And someone from behind of course. Back off, bitch! 
I'm like, no way you would just be one guy on, on the top of a log right there. Ow. Freaking axe throwing sons of bitches. Oh. Well, you can't have your flashlight up while you're reloading. It's good to know. Alright, alright. Still got lots of ammo. Come on, get up this log. Why are you so slow? Come on, get it. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I know what to do here. Oh no, one, two. Oh Jesus. <laughs> that could have gone very bad. Probably still is gonna go very bad. Cause those guys just wait in the darkness for you to make the wrong step and then they come and try and take you from behind. What's going on in here? Ah, I was thirsty. Give me some crack juice. Ah, delicious. Batteries. Some more manuscript pages and Oh, a hunting rifle. I have not used this before. Uh, thought I'd get like a scope on it or something. Alright, cool. We'll use this to blow some people's faces off. Oh, what a shady bastard. Waits for me to jump off. Oh, this is the ambush area. I can feel it. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. What? It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. What the heck? Why is there a plane in here? This is crazy. Oh. What what are you doing? You just flipping around over here? Plane. This is our ticket out of here, Alan Wake. I don't know why the heck I did that. Down we go. Nope. I broke it. Ah! <laughs> I do not know what the heck that was all about, but that was awesome. I saw some arrows pointing over here. Don't know if I was supposed to loot something over here. Hmm? Guess not. Unless there's some magic secret of the red bush. Nope. Just, I guess they just wanted me to mess around with this airplane. Is that a French flag? Netherlands flag? Maybe there's some weed on board. Get some of that herb. Actually, saw that state of Colorado and Washington legalized marijuana. That's pretty freaking awesome. Way to go, guys. Where am I going through here? Oh, they're all coming for me. Come on. Come on. Right flashlight, bitch. Oh, one shot kill, bitch. You don't mess with the man with the hunting rifle. Oh, right in your chest. All right, that hunting rifle's awesome. What's going on here? These little lanterns. Uh oh. Uh oh, back off, back off. No, start that shit. Oh, you can't, he's getting hacked. Come on, get this guy. Where's that flashlight? Come on, do that shit, there we go. Sneaky bastards. 
Sweet, now I'm getting tons of ammo. Like in the beginning of the game, I had nothing. Now I have revolver ammo, shotgun ammo, flares. This game is being nice. Almost too nice. Oh no, am I getting paranoid like Alan Wake? Oh, crack juice! Don't worry, I'll save you! Don't jump, you have so much to live for! You can be one with me in my belly forever! Oh god, that's so good. I don't know what I'd do without you, crack juice. You my only friend! Oh, I knew you were hanging out in there. Where's your homie? Hunting your own food can save money. Well, that's good to know. Oh. Oh, they're using, like, strategy. Probably not. Oh, reload. The one who was in the shadows went in front of the guy who was in the light. Tried to defend him. Set up a shield or something. I got past them. Oh, don't fall into the water. We made it to the cabin. The another kinky cabin. And this is where we shall end. Made some good progress this time. Got a new gun, the hunting rifle. Blew a couple forest hobos' faces off. And we faced down the alpha version of ourselves. Knocked him off a bridge. Into this kinky forest. Forest of funky butt love. So next time, we'll explore this cabin, or what is this, a wheelhouse? Water wheel thing? Yeah. Until then, take care of yourself.